Did you know that Portland once had a huge World's Fair? It was held in 1905, and it was a celebration of the 100-year anniversary of Lewis and Clark coming to the Northwest. But there was a reason for this World's Fair, and the reason wasn't really to celebrate Lewis and Clark. Portland at this time was the biggest city in the Northwest. 90,000 people lived here. It had the busiest seaport north of San Francisco, but another city to the north was catching up. That city was Seattle. They were becoming big and important too. So Portland city leaders decided, let's do something really big. Let's throw a really huge fair, a big party to make lots of people come to Portland and make sure that Portland stays ahead of Seattle and other cities in the Northwest in terms of being important and having a lot of business come to the city. So they decided to have what was called an exposition, or in other words, a World's Fair. They decided to hold the World's Fair in an area in northwest Portland called uh, Guild Lake. It was kind of a swampy area that they drained and they created a big lake that had water coming in from the Willamette River, and they really built it up. Um, they actually spent five years planning this fair. And finally, after those five years, they opened the gates in 1905. Now, they uh, to get to the fair, lots of new streetcar lines were built. Hundreds of streetcars an hour came to the fairgrounds. Huge crowds came. Here's a picture of the gates of the fair. This was the entrance. It was called the Colonnade, um, built on classical Greek and Roman architecture. So uh, the fair was built in and around the lake. As you see in this picture, there's a big government building and a bridge that went out there, um, was called the Bridge of Nations. And along that bridge, there were lots of shows and exhibits. There were things like a forestry building, a huge log cabin that showed all about the timber industry. Inside, it was all made out of huge logs. Unfortunately, that later, many years later, burnt down in a fire. Uh, the trail was what was called the, the Midway, the big, if you've ever been to a carnival, there's something called the Midway. It's a big, almost like a road, but it has all these side shows and exhibits on either side. That's what the trail was. Um, there were things like a wild animal show. There were also exhibits from other countries showing how people live in other countries. There were exhibits uh, that showed um, the newest trends in technology and business. Um, on a typical day, thousands and thousands of people would be walking down the streets of the World's Fair. It was such a lively scene. At night, there were fireworks. Uh, and everything was lit up. That's right, even though it was 1900, this was the very early years of electricity and uh, they had other ways of lighting up the scene. Um, there were cool exhibits such as a, um, a flying ship, a blimp, uh, just everything you could imagine. It was, it was really an incredible scene and so many people came. In fact, over this one summer, it was about I'm not sure how many months, three or four months, um, over a million people, over a million and a half people came to this World's Fair. So it really was a huge success. Um, after the World's Fair ended, as you'll see in a minute, um, the population of Portland grew from around 90,000 to over 207,000. So the population more than doubled in the five to 10 years after the fair. Many people, since many people came to town, they had to live somewhere. So a lot of homes, new homes were built um, on the east side of the Willamette River, where there wasn't quite as much urban area already. And in order for those people to get around the city, they had to build new bridges. So more bridges were built, more houses were built, more schools were built. And a lot of this had to do with the fact that there was this huge fair that so many people from around the world, not just around the country, came to see. So it was a huge success. It was a lot of fun. And it really kept Portland for a couple of more years um, on the map as the most important city in the Northwest.